The Avant Guide Institute identifies major social trends from around the world and helps the business world benefit from them. I travel to South Africa to discover the many ways in which that country has its finger on the pulse of our needs and desires. I'm Daniel Levine, the executive director of the Avant Guide Institute. I am your Avant Guide. The special appeal for South Africa for many travelers is the fact that on the one hand you have an exotic African country with many different cultures, some of the world's best wildlife and a one-of-a-kind political landscape, and on the other hand you have every first world convenience from well-paved highways and advanced telecommunications to world-class transport, hotels, golf courses, shopping malls and meeting spaces. I'm in the Oliver Tombo Airport in Johannesburg, uh, which is um, you know, a really wonderful place to land, uh, quite, a, quite a modern airport. You know, it's as modern as any airport that I've been anywhere around the world. And that's one of the things that's so wonderful about South Africa, that you know, here we are in Africa, but there's no other country where you have all the things that are so African, but at the same time, uh, the infrastructure is completely first world. I've been to several conventions in South Africa, including major exhibitions at the convention centers in Durban, Johannesburg, and Cape Town. I like the Cape Town Convention Center because of its great location within walking distance of downtown and the waterfront, and because of the great views to be had from the roof terrace balcony. I mean, imagine how much more special an event is with an unobstructed view of Table Mountain. When most people think about South Africa, it seems like what they think about is animals and wilderness. What they don't think about, perhaps, is that South Africa also has shops and stores that are as you know, amazing and broad as you'd see anywhere else in the world, from the very high-end shops to just things that you need every day. This is a shopping mall that is very much like a mall that you'd see almost anywhere in the world. Uh, and yet here we are in South Africa. Of course, South Africa has a first world infrastructure and ATMs everywhere, which is fabulous for the traveler. But what I really get a kick out of is that when you put your card in, you see at least six languages here. There's English here and English everywhere, so that you, know, you don't have to speak uh, any of these languages except English and you can get around South Africa perfectly. But these machines, to me, sort of illustrate how uh, um, you know, complex and interesting a culture is on the one hand and how modern and, uh, and new and, and, and easy the country is on the other hand. Perfect. 